All right, guys, out here, Rick's Cat. They brought in their demo team. Uh, sat in a fully auto hydraulic Caterpillar 326. Blew my mind. Got some footage of that for you guys today and all the settings and what you can do in there. I hopped in the 285 for a few minutes. Um, probably the smoothest ride in skid steer I've ever been in in my entire life. I'm super impressed with that machine. Um, and then we also checked out the payload on that 315 for loading trucks. It's going to be a really cool video if you're into uh, looking into the next set of technology, which way to go, GPS. This is all 2D stuff, okay? I need to make that clear. This has nothing to do with GPS yet. You can add 3D on top of it, but the amount of stuff that that can do 2D by itself, you utility and pipe guys, that right there will blow your mind. Yes, not just cat. We've got the Komatsu 220 brand new coming to you. We've got a Volvo coming to you. So stay tuned, make sure you're sub and shout out to these members for being a member. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> Is there still people? All right, never mind. No. Okay, so the first thing we're just gonna do is go ahead and put your seatbelt on. We're gonna turn on your hydraulics. Okay, lift up your boom. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and lift it up high enough. Okay, that's good. Now, this has stick steer mode. Hit the black button right there. Push down on that, on this side. And you wanna turn left, you wanna turn right, it's just like a skid steer. You really? Lift your boom up, go ahead and lift your boom up. No way. Run the stick. So you can adjust still while you're in stick steer. Yeah. I like that. That was the big thing with the 308s, right? That's sick. That's really cool. And just cut the dirt left side. God bless. A little jerk. The response is pretty crazy, actually, to be honest with you. Right now, the, the response is set at medium, and they're in the fast mode, too. That's insane. That's nice. Coming up at 15% on the back. Can you just tell me when you think you got where you need to be? All right. Fair enough. What happens is, is when you kiss hard, next time you're off this much. Got next it. Next time you're off. So what you want to do is just barely come down and touch it. Okay. Okay. So with that, I'm coming up. Yeah, go ahead, sir. So... Right here is what we're looking at. So if you don't know what these buttons do, mm -hmm. hit the I button and hold it down. Okay. And this says bench. Oh. This says horn. That says weight control. That says joystick. Yes, sir. Mode. Love it. Uh, uh, the grade assist, which is the bottom. So basically, you're going to worry about your, your thumb here and your trigger finger on the top one. Yes, sir. So we're going to bench it. Now we're going to put your angles. These are selected. There's up to four. So right now I've got, I've only got three. I've got that one, which is a 4%, and I've got it directed for me because I don't, uh, just because for, for show and tell. You'll see it, I can't get to the ground, it's crazy. But we got two foot in there. Now, that is that, that is your pre-existing hole. <laughs> okay, so we, 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 we've dug the hole. Now, go, stretch it all the way out. Okay, that's, that's good. That's where we missed that. Yes, sir. Okay, see this rock? Yes, sir. Bring the tip of the tooth right into this rock. I haven't measured it. Now, if you look over there on the left, uh, right hand side, you'll see a number. It says somewhere like 11 or 12 or Yes, 12. sir. 1380, 1381? Okay, 1381. My steps are big. I pulled a tape. You just pulled a tape. From where you were there, that's right here. So I can dig a ditch being 20 foot long. I don't have to ask a guy to get down in that's the ditch right. to throw the pipe in. I look at my there to here, 20 foot. Dude, you're clean. I'm going on to keep on digging. Yeah, I don't have to stop that's to right. Where I'm at. That's okay, right. Now. now, however you start, however you start this out, that bucket will try to maintain that angle. So if you're flat bottoming, now pull back on that. No way, that's pretty sick. That's like the 308 thing he was, yeah. Yep. Right, now just curl up, go ahead, go ahead and keep pulling. Okay. And 
curl up, you dirt, dump it out, and go back here. You kiss kind of hard, but that's we're, 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 we'll live with it. <laughs> so you're rebenching. Because remember, look, before before we were two foot. Yes, sir. And as we're coming up on a 15 degree angle, now we're at 1.70. It tells me all the way up that angle where I'm at. Wow. So we're going to rebench what you did. Now that's the new circle. But we're going to go to here. And we're going to turn swings left on. Automatics on. Trigger. See, this is automatic active mode. Got my A. That's your A. So now, when I pull back on this, I'm just going to continue up that ditch. This is oh, exactly that's so See, cool. See, you didn't lose anything. Now, what that does, like I said, it doesn't know elevation. So if you ran up on that spool pile, all you're doing is retraining it that, hey, I moved up or down. So you just keep on, I mean, you can go from here to Sonora <laughs> and 15 inch ditch, or 15 degree ditch. Look at that. So, so with this again, there's your payload. There's your, there's your, this is your great assist. That's mm -hmm. what we did. Before. Payload, like I said, as you pick up here, it's going to weigh the bucket and then weigh the dirt in the bucket. And as you swing, it turns green and says, this is what I'm taking over to this one. And I'm going to add it here and subtract it here. This bar fills up. When you get up to the total, go to the next one, hit the bottom button, which is the truck store. And it resets it all back to zero and you're good again. That's awesome. Okay, now all this right here, this is your e-fence, what I was talking about, a wall, the ceiling, and the floor, plus your assist. You don't have to turn all the assist on like I did on the left swing or the right swing. You can turn. I don't have to have the I don't have to have the assist on or the grade control just to dig. Right. I can just turn the assist on so I stop in the same place. That's so much cleaner rather than guessing, getting out, building you a little pad to start your grade with. <laughs> yeah, so you, so you have this and then back to normal. So whatever this screen's on, that right there shuttles to uh, to that uh, to that definition. Like this is a slope assist, you tap it, everything in there is for your grade settings, your horn, your turn your button, your cross slope, your touch point, your focus, and if you've got any questions, trade you hold your camera to that that goes to uh channel one and cat and it's not for a skid steer it's not for a backhoe it is for this 320 right here guys we are down here at caterpillar and rigs in springdale i am sitting in i believe a cat 326 with fully auto hydraulics um it's pretty insane learning a lot about it uh as you guys just saw mr ron giving us a good idea of you know we talked about the swing fence we talked about all that but the amount this is 15 percent grade i can zero it out over here like the the amount of things that i can do fully auto hydraulic uh, you guys just saw me i said a 15 percent grade i said a two foot down cut um let's go to my screen 15 percent slope up center line of my bucket two foot down and I dug the hole out in front of me so I've got two foot let me show them real quick I got I clicked my two foot right here going down 15% slope coming back up but it will not let me go out I'm gonna push my bucket out real slowly will I'm gonna try and go down I'm gonna go to the right just ever so slightly will okay now I'm gonna try and go down two feet. So I'm gonna hit my trigger button right here that Mr. Ron just told me, turns on my autos, and now I won't be able to go past my two foot mark. It will not let me go down any further. I'm gonna take just a little bit to show you guys. Well, don't move, I'm just gonna pull the spoil to me. Now I'm going to go back out and try and go past down two feet to show you guys it won't let me here. I'll put, I'll put a gap underneath my teeth for you guys so you can actually see. But we have put that two foot marker in and I'm pushing down with my bucket two foot at a 15% slope and as I bring it back up it's it's insane.
Insane. Won't let me go past down the two foot. There's my two foot mark. Will not. Look, Will. Pushing down, two foot, right there, 15% slope, and it will not let me go past two feet. Hydraulics are on, guys. Hydraulics are on. Look right here. Hydraulics on. I cannot go past two feet. That is insane. The amount of money savings that can be applied into a utility ditch. Oh my gosh. So that's pretty crazy. Controls the boom okay. and the bucket. So, okay. so you pull back, boom up, boom down. Stick. Stick huh. out. Okay. Have a hold of it. Stick out, stick in. Now swing right. Keep going. Keep going. You're good. You're good. Keep going. Okay, now boom down a little bit. The more you pull it, the faster it goes. Okay? Now, close your bucket. Look at my hand. There you go. There you go. Open your bucket. Okay. Now, stick in. This one here. You got it? Now, this is on a pendulum. So as you stick in, you've got to raise up on your boom a little bit. Keep going. There you go. Same speed. You get the grasp of it. Yeah. And you. Dirt right now. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so that that now, at the, when you get when you're digging dirt, what you would do is you would bring it on back just like you were doing. Yeah. You would take your hand and curl it this way. Curl it. Yep. Get the dirt. Go ahead. Get it. You ain't gonna hurt nothing. <laughs> keep going. 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 Keep digging. Keep digging. There you go. Now, boom up. Boom up. Okay, swing right. Oh, That's it. No, there you go, swing right. Stick out just a little bit. They work together. Keep going. Keep going. Now, now you're gonna get a you're gonna get some dirt. <laughs> but as you're coming back, try to start curling the bucket just a little bit. So stick in. There you go, move up a little. There you go, curl the bucket. There you go. Stick in, curl the bucket. Again, curl the bucket, curl the bucket, Holy curl it, curl it, that's, curl that's Carl. Whoa. Whoa. Now, that's scoop. Boom up, boom up, boom up. Okay, now swing, swing, swing right. Okay, now stick out a little bit, stick out. Okay, keep going, keep going, open your bucket. There you go, there you go, you got it, just empty it out. Back in again. Get you another bite. This ain't your first time. Boy, yes, yes it is, boys. Yes. <laughs> Stick it back out there. Stick, remember, both of them together. There you go. You get, you get the tip, you get the feel of it, of how much it got to go. Yeah. Now, as you get, move up a little bit as you're going. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Move up. Up. Okay, you ain't got to go more stick out. Just dump it right there. Big to China, you want to try to keep it level. Right. I'm trying to get out. some of this. Stick in. Stick in. Boom up. Stick in. Boom up. Curl a little bit. Stick in. Stick in. There you go. Missed. All right. A little 285 action, huh? I am uh, pretty excited to run this big beast. enough yeah that's the word like you're pushing that was insane that i just went zoom, like right through a pile that was kind of insane uh so I noticed, <laughs> holy I noticed this too. Yeah, you can tell too it's it's the dozer. yeah i know i mean you can tell yes as soon as you're in it like you think being in okay take like a tl12 takahuchi yes. big machine 
does a lot, it can move a lot of material, but you know it at the end of the day because it's beat you to absolute piss. Yep. And you were, I was kind of expecting that big, huge skid steer, right? You're thinking, I'm gonna get the crap beat out of me for this. I was blown away how smooth, and I wasn't trying to be, I was trying to be a little bit jerky. I want to see if it was gonna throw me around and, oh my Jesus. That's probably, uh, it is shoved way up underneath there, but I know why, center gravity. God bless, you got enough room here, you can sit and work on it though. Wow. That thing's impressive, dude.